some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have a pair of idiotic frauditors who walk into a police station and get a whiff of fresh pine scent and demand to search the officers. Oh yeah, a pair of idiots off the street ask to search police officers. You know how much of a security risk that is? So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Yeah, there is a bit of a funny smell going on in here. Some Somebody's been smoking weed in here. Are you stupid or something? Dude, are you that much of an idiot? You don't have to light it up in order for you to smell it. If there's a large cache of it, like say in an evidence room, then you're going to smell it through the vents or down the hallway. Did you smell that when you came in? Yeah. It smells like weed? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have to investigate that. Hi, are you the one that's been smoking the weed in here? No, I'd probably be in a better mood. Okay, yeah, is there is there an officer that's in the building or something that I can talk to? Sure, what do you need? We'll call somebody in for you. I need to speak about, I investigate situations to do with legality. Oh, you mean like a law enforcement officer? Are you trying to call yourself a cop? So, and... I smelled a very strong odor of marijuana coming from in this room right here. And there's a there's still a presence of it in this room. So I need to speak with somebody, preferably a supervisor, about investigating that, sorting it out. Sure, no problem. What you do is th there's a phone right out there. Gets to dispatch. Yep, and they'll send somebody right in for okay. you. Okay. All right. Hello. Hi, How are you guys today? Good, how are you? Good, my name's Captain Hall. This is Captain Nick, uh, McDonald. What can we do okay. for you? What can I do for you? Well, man, um, right, I just came into the building yeah. to investigate, and I'm smelling a really strong scent. Yeah, it's our really bed. Strong odor. Venting from our evidence room. We're aware of it, and we're looking into it. We appreciate you bringing it to our attention. Okay. Okay. Um, Anything else I can do for you? Yeah, I was just wondering, like, I see that. <clears throat> you can't expect me to believe everything that I hear, right? I understand it. So I was mm -hmm. wondering... Could I just patch you guys down to make sure you guys don't have any marijuana or anything on you? Just no, I'm absolutely not, not. I'm not going to let you touch me. I'm sorry. Just like I wouldn't touch you. But I understand your concern. So you understand, but you're not going to cooperate? I'm cooperating. Absolutely. Do you have any other questions for me? Yeah, I just need to patch you down, man, just to make sure that there is no. I absolutely I get, not. You're not a law enforcement officer. I just for my safety and the community's safety, we just want to make sure that you guys aren't smoking weed. I have yep. a gun on my side, and you're not going to pat me down. Let me explain to you, dimwit frauditors, that this has nothing to do with transparency. These two officers are carrying sidearms. Do you actually think they would let two random idiots off the streets pat them down when they have sidearms that can be taken away from them and used against them? You, sir, are a blooming idiot! We're not going to let you do that, okay? Not You're like being that. uncooperative, dude. No, no. You understand that is suspicious to me. What, that I have a gun on my side? I'm a police <clears throat> officer? Well, if you've got drugs and, and a gun on you at the same time, that you see that could be yeah, an issue. We have policies and practice in place for that type of testing, okay? So that occurs at a, at a random and frequent pace. So we'll take care of that. I'm not going to let you touch me with my weapon. Neither is, is he, okay? So at this point... Do you have any other questions that I can answer for you? We're not going to do you guys that. always smoke in the building? We don't smoke marijuana. I'm telling you that that's the venting from our evidence room. We are aware of it and where it comes from. So right. do you have any other questions or comments or, or issues or complaints that we can help you with today? And I just don't see how that's... Okay. That, that, doesn't, I understand that. that doesn't solve the problem. Because okay. I'm smelling weed, so... Just, I understand it. But I'm trying to keep the community safe, man. You understand that the marijuana is dangerous, dangerous and yeah. we can't... No, I completely understand. We can't let our public employees be out there all jacked up. We're right? not. Right. But we appreciate your concern. Okay, so just to make sure, I was wondering, will you allow me no. to pat you down? We've no. answered your we're question. Not consent to that. No, I will not. Won't Do you have any other questions for me today, sir? Mm -hmm. Okay, right. have a good day. All right. Thank you. I see uh, my kids the okay. And now you guys are being forgetful for you, so you see how that does breed suspicion for me. Range! 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 
Oh, you blooming idiot. He did not forget where the key was. He knows where it's at. He left it with the secretary behind the counter. You damn moron. How so? Well, if you're not on drugs, why would you be forgetting stuff? You know what I mean? When was the last time you forgot something? Uh, you just open the door for me, Terry. Thanks. Thanks. It's been a minute. Locking myself out of like, my car. Right. It hasn't happened to me in years, man. Well, I was coming to speak with you guys. My office is right well, here. I left my keys to somebody about, so, about you doing drug dealing with nurse. I, I don't use drugs. I don't use illegal drugs. We have testing in place for those things. I have explained the odor that you can smell, and I agree with you that it's there, and we know what it's from. It seems suspicious it, to me. That I understand. Yeah. I understand that it seems suspicious to you, and I'm sorry that you feel that way. Because if you but came to my answered. place of work and smelled odors of marijuana that be kind well of we would investigate just like we have here and i would gladly answer all your questions just like you're answering mine so will you what, let us investigate there? what's that can we investigate back there no sir you're not allowed into our evidence so we, that's you all expect personal. us to let you investigate yourself i've explained to you that we know what the odors come from i've explained to you that we have testing processes that we are not under the influence of anything i've answered all your questions i've asked if you have anything additional or new to add you said you didn't Okay, you anyway, look, I get question. it, man. All right, so, so to, have a good day. Well, there's just one more thing I'd request, gentlemen. And what's that? what's that? In order to make the community feel safer, would you be willing to submit to a breathalyzer test in front of the cameras today? No. I'm not under the influence of anything, sir. And neither am I. Have and I just day. can't be taking people's words for that. You know what I mean? Have a good day. Have a good day, sir. Thank you for your time. I hope you guys have a safe day. And this is the kind of, these are the people who are out there fighting crime for you. I would uh, share your sentiment if they actually allowed you to search them, despite the security risk. I mean, come on. Two random people off the streets walking into a police station and demanding to search the officers? They would have to be under the influence to allow you to do that. Now, since you didn't think this through, I'm going to leave you off with this little number for you. You are so lame! I'm not lame! Yes! Yes, you are! Please, Mom, please, don't do that! Don't be mean to me! I'm not being mean to you!